Our trade union movement needs to take a much stronger line on defending Palestinians from the genocide that's happening now. The ACTU, Sally McManus, Michelle O'Neill need to step up and lead the trade union movement in Australia to say this is enough, this is not what workers want and we won't support it. Not just a statement, but actually come out and do it. Can you, can you imagine where we'd be today if they spent the last six months educating workers, doing propaganda, writing articles for the union journals, visiting workplaces, putting up flags, having the arguments, um, as difficult as it would be, um, spending their time um, instead of lobbying governments for uh, other favours, um, putting pressure on governments around this issue. If they'd spent the last six months doing that, they could easily now call for nationwide National Day of Actions and, and strikes and marches uh, around this issue. Um, they always say, oh no, it's a little bit difficult, our members wouldn't turn out, etc., etc." et um, Not from a cold start, but if they'd spent the last six months working on this, uh, um, we'd be a lot more better organised today. Um, and, uh, and our union officials could be proud and stand up that they're defending other workers um, uh, around, around the world on this issue. And if Sally ever watches this, and I suppose if I say Sally, Sally's name enough, um, their media people will pick it up and, uh, and send it to her. But yeah, we would really um, need some leadership on this because workers, as we know, uh, will mobilise around things, but they've, it's got to be led, it's got to be argued for, it's got to be explained, um, and the issues need to be clear. At the moment, workers have only got stuff from the Herald Sun and from Sky News, um, and that's all, as we know, completely biased and destructive. Um, uh, uh, the, the language is destructive, and um, it, it does nothing to help build a solidarity movement and a progressive solidarity movement uh, for the oppressed peoples of the world. So when it comes to the arms trade, all unions should be having a look at it and say, no, we won't be involved in this. Now, it doesn't matter whether they're academics unions or manufacturing unions, uh, they need to be saying, we don't support this. Uh, and, and they need to support the, the actions of the protest movement on um, boycotts and disinvestment um, uh, where, where they can. Now, if that exposes a union to secondary boycott in the workplace, uh, well then it needs to be led by the ACTU so that those unions aren't exposed to prosecution. Uh, it needs to be a, a union movement broad um, attack um, to stop that arms trade and to stop that being used, our profits and our jobs and our people being used to kill other workers in another country. This is one social international solidarity issue that you would think, like if the ACTU can't lead a mass action around this question, then what would they be prepared to lead on? I mean, we've got 40 odd thousand people dead or missing uh, in the Gaza Strip um, and the situation's about to escalate. So um, now is the time for them to take action. We can't leave it to individuals and individual unions to go it alone because the state will come down on them uh, um, and they will suffer. But to, we all know together that won't happen. And, um, and Sally knows this, um, but what they've got to do is they've got to break from their their ties or the hegemony with Labor Party policy and actually standing up for humanity and workers not the parliamentary wing. But they always fall back on Israel has the right to defend itself. Uh, never mentions the Palestinians that are occupied, resisting or defending themselves. They only talk about Israel, the occupier, um, defending themselves. And it's really, it's just like walking out of the movie and saying, well, Darth Vader had the right to defend themselves from the re rebellion.